So you want to get to level 100 in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Yeah, me too. Welcome back, my friends, for another video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my very best to give you guys some tips on how to get to level 100 quick. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video at the time of recording, you can see at the top right corner, I'm not even close to 100 yet. Well, I mean, I'm closer than not close, but I'm only level 72. And once you get to the level 70 area, uh, things get really slow. It gets a lot harder. Now, I'm going to start with the obvious things. Challenges, right? We're going to go through some of the challenges, teach you guys how to, uh, you know get some of this stuff done um and you know maybe give you guys a couple tips and tricks i mean i have a bunch of guides on my channel link a link a playlist down below if you guys want to see my 100 runs and all different things like that and different uh um just different guides and different uh tony Hawk pro skater videos you guys can check out and whatever's useful to you great whatever's not then that's cool too uh so under the challenge section you're gonna have a bunch of different challenges right obviously you want to go for as much challenges as you can create a park challenges are pretty uh easy for the most part honestly um so for example uh, engagement goals. Some of these are like the place objects, like this one here. You got to place 10,000 objects in Creative Park. All I would do is I'd uh, switch to like a, a little box or like a trash can or a chair, and I would just keep placing as many as I could. And then once the park was filled, I'd re rinse and repeat until that was done. Um, and then uh, there's some other challenges, obviously, that you could do that are very easy for Creative Park. You'll get a few thousand uh, XP from that. Um, skate park challenges, uh, there's the gap challenges. Now, I actually did um, all the hard get there challenges. I did a guide on that if you guys want help with that. Um, but, you know, getting all the gaps and stuff, uh, you know, you get a bunch of uh, XP from all this. Um, there's speedrun stuff, which I haven't actually done yet because speedrun stuff may be a little bit more hit and miss. It depends, you know, how efficient you are at, you know, speedrunning. Uh, I'll show you guys where to go for that in a second. Well, real quick. If you go to the hub, you go to skate tours, go over to ranked and free skate. It basically be under there. If you go select um, any kind of, uh, well, not any, but certain... Um, Certain places like Warehouse has a speed run, so you click on it, you go down to speed run, and that's how you do it. You basically have to get all the goals and objectives, you know, um, as fast as you can. The timer goes up instead of going down, right? Um, anyway, so there's all that kind of stuff. There's some secret challenges, which apparently there's like 20 I haven't discovered yet. So, um, you know, there's that. Obviously, the, the alien is one of them. Um, I think uh, Officer Dick might be one of them as well. I don't know. You get cha uh, challenge uh, or XP from that as well. I have guides on those. So you can get some good XP from uh, from all that. If you're really good at multiplayer, there's uh, there's different multiplayer challenges as well. Um, you know, you, one of them is just literally literally to complete 500 matches and you get 5,000 XP. But obviously that's a little bit more time consuming. Uh, then there's skilled competitors, which is things like, you know, you got to win uh, uh, under jam or win under competitive. Uh, most sweats go to competitive, but obviously, you know, you'll, you'll find some sweats under jams uh, playlist as well. You get some, you know, a couple thousand XP depending. Um, like for this one, you got to get 100 competitive wins. I have 59 so far, so I'm close to getting another 2,000 XP. Unfortunately, though, if you go back here, you can see that I need 12,000 XP to get from 72 to 73. So even if you do all these challenges, it's still going to take a long time. And I'm going to try to have to, I'm going to explain in a minute how to, you know, the best method, I guess, how to get XP aside from challenges. Right now, we're going to focus real quick on the challenges. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. But right now, I got a couple more tips for that. Uh, combo builders. Now, there's a couple tricks for this one, okay? So, um... Things like flat ground tricks, right? You got to complete 10,000 flat ground tricks. You could actually put the uh, the cheat on for perfect manuals. Uh, and you could just, uh, you know, watch Netflix or whatever while you're just button mashing, you know, a uh, combination of, you know, triangle, circle, and square, or, you know, Y, X, and B if you're on uh, Xbox. Uh, and you can get those like that. So, again, for these ones, you can actually use mods. I haven't done the 100,000 ones yet because that is a lot of button mashing and a lot of time consumed. Uh, but then there's things like manual time. This you could actually leave on overnight. So, you can put on a uh, perfect manual. Um, so you, you know, you don't fall from a manual, um, and then you just leave, leave it sitting there. You just go into a manual. Uh, you can do a manual in one spot and then just leave it. So there's one for one hour and there's one for 10 hours. Just make sure that you have, you know, certain things, uh, like, first of all, make sure your controller is plugged in because if your controller turns off in the middle of the night, if you are leaving this overnight, that is, if your controller turns off, then obviously that's going to cause an issue because it's going to pause the game and it's not going to count. So make sure you have your controller plugged in and charging and make sure you have the automatic into, uh, mode turned off for your console uh, same thing with the grind time you can do that in a grind time you can go to a, a map like skate park uh, and, and there's a bowl in there or any anything that has a circular kind of you know uh, thing that you can grind without non-stopping put perfect grind on and you can get the one hour and the 10 hours complete for that as well very easy also the same thing for, for the lip tricks which I believe is under 
Uh, is it under combo finishers? I can't remember where it is, but uh, there's one for uh, lip tricks as well. Maybe it's on, yeah, it's right here. It's under combo builders. So uh, for that as well. And then things like flip tricks, um, there's not really an easy way to do that. You're just going to basically have to keep ollieing and flip tricking and ollieing and flip tricking. Um, there's, you know, if there was a cheat to kind of stay in the air like indefinitely, then it'd make it a lot easier. Unfortunately, there's no cheat for that. Not that I know of, unless it's hidden and there's a hidden way to unlock it. Otherwise, uh, you're kind of screwed doing it the old fashioned way. So those are kind of options you could do. I mean, these give big XPs, 5,000, 1,000. They're very time consuming though. Um, so those are a couple tricks to get that as well. And then under the skater challenges, I did a guide on how to do all the created skater challenges. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out. Uh, but most of all the other skater challenges are pretty easy. Now, they don't give a lot of XP, but when you add them all up, they're going to you know accumulate. I think each skater gives you probably, if you do all the challenges, roughly 1,000 XP, give or take. Um, you know They all have a little bit of different kind of things. Uh, for example... Uh, if we go to like Bob Burnquest, a lot of his stuff has to do with vert. So you got to do vert combos or, you know, you got to do a bunch of vert gaps in different maps. Um, but then a lot of them have, uh, or all of them have at least some that has to do with getting a few six scores on the map. So whatever the six scores on the map, if it's 100,000 on Warehouse, you get 100,000 with Bob Burnquest or a little bit over that. Um, so you can get those done. Um, and then things like getting all their stats, right? So um, you can get all their stats. Well, like I said, I have a, a bunch of 100% guides or runs or whatever for each uh, level. There's a bunch of them. So you get like basically a thousand per one. Um, you know, if you want to go through that as well. So those are a couple different options as far as challenges go. Uh, but then we're going to move on to, you know, what if you don't really have any challenges left or maybe, you know, these challenges are more tedious. You don't really feel like doing some of them uh, and you just want to rank up the old fashioned way. Now you got a couple options. You can, of course, go to multiplayer, which we're going to cover in just a second. But we're going to start with actually skate tours. Uh, there's a method that is probably the best method. You're going to go to two minute runs. Now, the best place to probably do this is probably THP, THPS1 uh, downtown. I would say skate park, but skate park is a gold medal thing. So it's not a typical two minute run. It's one minute run. So it's a little bit different. Um, so I think downtown is probably the best place to go for that. So we're going to load in here and I'll show you guys the best way to uh, rank up, you know, XP without challenges. Okay. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys uh, my session results and then I'll show you guys exactly what I did. But basically, you get XP based on total score, longest grind, longest manual, longest slip, and best combo. Now, uh, you can get approximately between 150 and 200 XP every minute or so, if you, you know, depending on how efficient you do this. Um, now, you're going to want to turn all the mods on for this. Now, again, it's not a lot of XP, but this is unfortunately the fastest way to kind of, you know, level up um, outside of, you know, multiplayer and doing challenges. So, um, if I go ahead, we're going to retry the level. So, the very first thing you want to do is pause the game, of course, go down to game options, you're going to go to game mods, and like I said, turn on all the assists, right? So, perfect rail, manual, lip, all that good stuff, always special. Turn those on and then start off by going into a manual you can see the timer at the top middle so you can see how long you're manualing for if you want to play it safe go for like 11 seconds uh but once you've uh, manualed long enough which have i been manualing long enough i don't know i've been commentating so i can't remember uh then you're gonna go up this ramp here for the lip trick so again same thing go into a lip uh, wait about 10 seconds uh, again this is why you want all the perfect you know mods on so you don't you know you don't have to worry about holding the um you know these tricks uh, and then you're going to go into a special on the fountain right here so whatever your, your special is set to so if you don't know you could check uh, my what the grind special I have set is you know left down triangle for a 5-0 overturn doesn't matter what it is as long as that as long as you have uh, some kind of uh, you know grind special on okay I can't even get into it what the crap is going on here so anyways get into the grind uh, special for 10 seconds uh, and this the reason why you want it to be a special is it's going to greatly increase your base score uh, and then when the 10 seconds is up, you're going to do a bunch of transitions. So if you don't know how to do that, it's like circle, circle, or square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, like any two combinations basically of square, triangle, and circle, or whatever it would be, you know, whatever console you're on. Uh, now, obviously, I went a lot more than 10 seconds because, you know, I was trying to explain something. But you're going to get about like a, a, a 10 multiplier just to make sure you get at least 300,000 score. Uh, which is going to be a 300,000 combo and a 300,000 score and then you go ahead and end the run and at this point It should be only a minute into the run and when you end the run you can see I got uh, 50 XP for a total score 50 XP for um my best combo, my combo is 14 tricks, uh, and that gives me 100, and then I have 25 for at least getting a 10 second grind, 10 second manual, 10 second uh, lip, so that's going to give me about 175 XP. So for for me right now, I need, what was it, 12,000 XP to rank up from 72 to 73. If I divide that by 175, 
uh, that would be 68. So unfortunately, this would still take me about 68 runs of doing this, which is obviously an hour just to rank up once. But this is honestly the fastest method you, you can really do. Now, you could go for a higher score and a higher best combo to give you a little bit of extra XP. But the XP to time ratio, it, it might not really pay off. It might be faster just to go for, you know, the smaller uh, combo, you know, 10 tricks, 300,000 score to get, you know, uh, roughly 45 to 50 XP for each of those. And, you know, that's probably honestly your best bet. So I know what you're probably thinking right now. You're probably thinking, man... This video said, you know, how to rank up to 100 fast or whatever I'm titling it. And, you know, unfortunately, this is the fastest way. I mean, if you guys know of any faster ways or if I, you know, discover a faster way, I'll, I'll make an update video. But unfortunately, this is the fastest way of as of right now. You know, doing challenges is, is your biggest thing. Of course, uh, you know, this method outside of challenges is honestly your best bet. It's still really grindy and tedious. Um, unfortunately, that's just how, you know, they made the game to uh, level up. Uh, there is multi uh, multiplayer, though. So we're going to go into multiplayer. And uh, I'll show you guys, you know, how much XP you can earn from there if you are really good at multiplayer and you can, you know, beat people out pretty, uh, pretty easily. So let's head over there right now. So under jams, which is more of like the casual playlist, uh, and I think jams and uh, competitive are probably going to be the exact same thing. Uh, I just won a game and uh, it was combo mambo and basically I got a combo or a total score rather. I got a total score of 3,800,000. My best combo was uh, 1 million... Uh, 1.1 million basically um, and then I did a 25 or sorry I did a 10 second grind a 10 second manual only pulled off an 8 second lift which gave me 22 XP instead of 25 XP and basically I got 75 XP for my total score 75 XP for the best combo my longest grind manual and longest lift basically would give me roughly you know uh, uh, 25 XP and obviously you have no mods um, on multiplayer so that makes it a little bit trickier as well so honestly you're getting roughly the same thing in multiplayer even if you win it doesn't even matter if, if you win and have even apparently super high combos, it's pretty much the same kind of XP, uh, at least in jams. I'm going to go check really quick how it is in co the competitive playlist, but I'm pretty sure if I remember right, it's the exact same. But uh, your best bet so far is definitely to just do it in two minute sessions under skate tours with mods than having to do it, you know, in multiplayer because multiplayer doesn't seem to really, you know, do much for you. So I just won in uh, competitive and I uh, got first place. And as you guys can see, I get the exact same amount of XP as I do in jam 75 XP, which is very similar to what you get in just, you know, a normal two minute skate session in skate tours. Uh, single player so in conclusion it seems like if you want the most time efficient way to do this without challenges skip out on multiplayer the only reason you want to go into multiplayer of course is to uh, knock out some of the multiplayer challenges but if it wasn't for that I mean it seems to be pretty much pointless because you get very similar XP and you're wasting more time in multiplayer so just doing the single player sessions that I showed you guys earlier in the video um, is probably your fastest way to level up without actually doing challenges but again you know knock out these challenges Challenges if you want to they do give you some pretty you know chunky XP amounts if you can get the wins and uh, some of them are literally just for not even winning like just uh, playing so like 500 matches for example so you get some XP from there as well it's 5,000 XP if you can play enough matches so keep at it my friends keep grinding I know it sucks I'm with you on it I'm only level 72 I'm trying to get to level 102 so I can platinum the game on ps4 but uh, you know it is what it is if if any of us discover a faster way to uh, basically do this I'll make another update video but as of right now this seems to be the fastest method if you guys know of a faster way let us all know in the comment section below uh, otherwise if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful drop a like subscribe guys new and I'll see you guys very soon in another one until then my friends game on and thanks for watching